In this strategy meeting, South Sudan's rebel commanders weigh their options in the ongoing battle between their fighters and government troops in parts of the country. Generals and other influential individuals from both sides of the conflict have often been accused of being hardliners and hampering negotiations brokered by the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, that are yet to achieve any peace. Who is the first spoiler? Who is, who is the, first, the first spoiler? Who is he? Is Solpakir or Rekmacha? He is a spoiler. Is somebody kill people or somebody run away? So you don't consider yourselves hardliners or spoilers of the peace process as a general on the ground? Yes, because I don't even know the reason why even I was just away in Juba, me, myself. They all say they want peace, but fighting is still going on despite a ceasefire. According to the UN, many people have been killed, their homes burned, women raped and tens of thousands of people displaced in the latest government offensive in Unity State. Rebels are also on an offensive in the neighboring Apanal state, where the only functioning oil fields are. Both sides blame each other for starting the fight. We are not the ones rejecting peace. But let me ask you, if I kill two of your children, how do you start peace? The only thing that can stop the war in South Sudan is Savakil's removal from the helm. The commanders insist there was no coup attempt in mid-December 2013, as claimed by the government, but what followed after was an attempt to ethnically cleanse the Nuer tribe, the second largest in the country. Peace talks are expected to resume. There will be a new proposal by IGAD on the formation of a transitional government. The commanders here say that they will not accept anything less than separate armed forces for at least three years. This general says that 18 months is not enough to heal wounds and build trust between the rival forces. For the two army to, to be trained and organized to come together again as a, a national army of South Sudan, it, it, that one will not be enough uh, and it will force people to fight again. These men are all important advisors to their leader, Riek Machar. They say they'll follow his lead but will not accept a deal that doesn't properly address the root cause of the conflict. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Mewut, in rebel-held Upper Nile State.